You're at a busy T-junction looking to turn right. There's traffic in both directions frequently. You feel like you're going to be here a long time. So, don't think harder, think smarter. Don't think harder, think smarter. What does that mean? Well today, we're going to look at doing indirect turns to think smarter when pulling out at busy junctions. First thing I should clarify, doing indirect turns is not something you should intentionally do on your driving test. It is, however, something you might do after your driving test to make a busy junction easier to deal with. And now coming up to that same busy junction, and I'm looking to turn right. Now, I know the area, and I know this junction is quite busy to turn right at. Often there's even a queue of traffic waiting to turn. So to do an indirect turn, what we do is turn left. Now doing a left turn should be much easier, as you're only giving way to one set of traffic. The traffic from your right. But do bear in mind, you still need to look left. Because if any traffic is coming from the left, and perhaps are on your side of the road overtaking something, you will need to give way to them but that's not too likely. Now, to do our indirect turn, we've then done our left turn to start with, and then we look to do a U-turn at the nearby roundabout. So mirrors, signal right, keeping near the centre line, positioning to the right lane, slowing to give way to the traffic, into gear one, and then we should be able to go after the Silver Folk Fiesta. So of course to do this, you need to really know the area. You need to know that once you turn left, there is a way of then turning round. Now it could be a roundabout like there, or it could also be um, by going into a cul-de-sac, into a dead end road, or into a car park to turn round, and then coming back out of the T-junction. Now this is only going to work if you can turn left, and then turn right into a side road, or a car park to turn round. If you turn to left and then left again to a side road to turn around, it's not going to work. You're just going to have the same trouble as before, as now you've got to again pull out and turn right onto the busy road. With this technique as well, it is also quite long-winded, as you have to turn left to give him way to traffic before you turn left. Then turn right, give him way to oncoming traffic. Turn around the car, and then merge and turn left again, give him way to traffic. The main thing is, you're only ever giving way to one set of traffic, so it is much easier than doing a direct right turn if the junction is extremely busy. Doing an indirect turn, you also need to assess how busy it is. If it's not especially busy, it's probably going to take you longer to do an indirect turn. It's only going to be a good idea if it's really busy. You're going to be waiting to do a right turn for quite a while let's say more than a few minutes. If you're just going to be there for less than a few minutes, it's not really going to be worth your while. Let's now look at doing an indirect turn at a roundabout. So let's say you're approaching a roundabout, you're in the right lane, perhaps you're just overtaking something, and then you're looking to turn left. So you're here, and then your sat nav in your driving test says, turn left of the roundabout, first exit. What do you do? You're in the right lane, and you need to have to turn left. Whatever you do, do not attempt to directly turn left from the right lane. Incredibly dangerous, and will most definitely fail you on your driving test. This technique is also useful if you're in the right lane, and you're approaching a roundabout, and you can't get back to the left lane safely. So, to, to do an indirect left turn, what we do is do a full circle of the roundabout to start with. So, mirrors, signal right. around the roundabout until we get back to the first exit. So it's the next exit coming up, so mirrors, signal, mirrors again, blind spot all clear and then coming off, 30 mile an hour speed on the new road crossing is also clear. So that's how we do an indirect turn. Now if you are going to do it on a driving test, it's perfectly fine, the exam will be very pleased and you will pass if you do that. 
however, it's probably best just to advise the examiner of what you're doing. Um, so if you come into the round, but you're in the right lane, they say to turn left, the sound of says left, just say to them, oh, I'm in the right lane, I'm just going to go round the roundabout and then turn off. And then at least they understand what you're going to do, so there's no surprises when they start to see signalling right. 